Welcome to Follow the Lord from Writings by St. Francis of Assisi, Vegetarian, Part 1 of 2, on Words of Wisdom. The venerated St. Francis of Assisi, Vegetarian, born in late 1181 or early 1182, was an Italian Catholic friar, deacon, preacher, and the founder of the Franciscan Orders. He is greatly admired for his faith and dedication to God, expressed through his reverence for the environment and all animal people as brothers and sisters. As the patron saint of animal people and ecology, he delivered sermons to animal people and showed compassion for the sick and the less fortunate. Saint Francis, vegetarian, taught his followers to be completely detached from worldly possessions and material comfort, as well as to help those most in need. He shared the holy teachings of Jesus Christ vegetarian with all, even traveling to Egypt in 1219, in the hope that this might help bring peace to the region. According to Christian tradition, in 1224, he received the stigmata during the apparition of seraphic angels in a religious ecstasy, making him the first recorded person in Christian history to bear the wounds of Christ's passion. His compassionate wisdom lives on to this very day. In 2014, Supreme Master Qinghai, vegan, spoke of St. Francis's notable influence. You, you know, just to be reminded that San Francis of Assisi, he was vegetarian, well-known, yeah? Yes, Master. And he loved animal people. Everybody knows that. The whole world knows that. And the Italian people, they love him. Maybe that's why it's ingrained in their culture to be kind to animal people. Oh, I see. And also... If people are kind to animals, people, they normally are kind also to humans. That's what is said, you know. If you love animals, you people, they would love humans too. And I'm happy. I'm happy for the Italian people. Thank you, San Francis of Assisi. Today, we will present excerpts of the Rules for the Friars Minor from the book the writings of St. Francis of Assisi, where the blessed saint lays down the directives for his faithful friars to follow. Rules of the Friars Minor First Rule of the Friars Minor Of the Admonition of the Brothers Let us all, brothers, give heed to what the Lord says. Love your enemies and do good to them that hate you. For our Lord Jesus, whose footsteps we ought to follow, called his betrayer, friend, and offered himself willingly to his crucifiers. But now, after having renounced the world, we have nothing else to do but to be solicitous, to follow the will of God, and to please him. Let us take much care that we be not the wayside, or the stony, or thorny ground according to what the Lord says in the Gospel. The seed is the word of God, and that which fell by the wayside and was trampled underfoot are they that hear the word and do not understand. Then the devil comes and snatches that which has been sown in their hearts and takes the word out of their hearts, lest believing they should be saved. But that which fell upon the rock are they, who when they hear the word, at once receive it with joy. But when tribulation and persecution arise, on account of the word, they are immediately scandalized. And these have no roots in themselves, but are for a while, for they believe for a while, and in time of temptation fall away. But that which fell among thorns are they who hear the word of God, and the solicitude and cares of this world, the fallacies of riches, and the desire of other things, entering in, choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. But that sown on good ground are they, who in a good and best heart, hearing the word, understand, and keep it, and bring forth fruit in patience.
end. For this reason, brothers, let us, as the Lord says, let the dead bury their dead, and let us be much on our guard against the malice and cunning of Satan, who desires that men should not give his heart and mind to the Lord God, and who, going about, seeks to seduce the heart of men under pretext of some reward or benefit to smother the words and precepts of the Lord from memory, and who wishes to blind the heart of men by worldly business and cares. Wherefore, let us all, brothers, watch much, lest under pretext of some reward or labor or aid, we lose or separate our mind and heart from the Lord. But I beseech all the brothers, both the ministers and others, in the charity which God is, that, overcoming all obstacles and putting aside all care and solicitude, they strive in the best manner they are able to serve, love, and honor the Lord God with a clean heart and a pure mind, which He seeks above all. And let us always make in us a tabernacle and dwelling place for Him, who is the Lord God Omnipotent, Father and Son and Holy Ghost, who says, Watch, therefore, praying at all times, that you may be accounted worthy to escape all the evils that are to come and to stand before the Son of Man. And when you stand to pray, say, Our Father, who art in heaven, and let us adore Him with a pure heart, for we ought always to pray, for the Father seeks such adorers. God is a spirit, and they that adore Him must adore Him in spirit and in truth. But all you are brothers, and call none your Father upon earth, for one is your Father who is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your Master who is in heaven, Christ. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask whatever you will, and it shall be done unto you. Where there are two or three gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Behold, I am with you all days, even to the consummation of the world. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let us therefore hold fast the words, the life and doctrine, and holy gospel of Him who sacrificed for us, to ask His Father to manifest to us His name, saying, Father, I have manifested Thy name to the men whom Thou have given me, because the words which Thou gave I have given to them, and they have received them, and have known in every deed that I came forth out of thee, and they have believed that thou did send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them whom thou have given me, because they are thine, and all my things are thine. Holy Father, keep them in thy name whom thou have given me, that they may be one as we also are. These things I speak in the world that they may have joy filled in themselves. For more information, please visit archive.org.